So you're interested in using Parsec for Teams, but aren't sure that it's secure enough for your organization? Connecting to your office computers from anywhere sounds great, but those computers hold the projects, files, and data that make your company yours. Well, here's some good news. Out of the box, Parsec is an incredibly secure system, and Parsec for Teams includes a number of features that help keep your connections secure and your organization's data protected. But Parsec for Teams takes things a step further by letting you customize how your team connects, who they can connect with, and which Parsec features are available for use. So in this video, we're going to walk you through everything you need to know about managing Parsec security settings and making Parsec as secure as your organization needs. The first thing you'll probably want to control is how your team connects to Parsec. All connections made over Parsec are peer-to-peer -peer and encrypted. That means that a host computer's data streams directly to the client. No intermediaries, no data touching our servers, just a sweet, secure connection between two computers. By default, Parsec connects clients and hosts directly to one another using STUN, Session Traversal Utilities for NAT, and UPnP, Universal Plug and Play. For gamers, individuals, and small organizations, this kind of security is typically more than enough. However, Parsec for Teams also supports the use of VPN tunneling, and for larger organizations that require more control over their traffic, we even have the Parsec High Performance Relay, an on-prem relay server that can be used to better control and monitor Parsec traffic. For more information about the Parsec Gateway server, check out the article linked below. It's also worth noting that even with a default connection, if you'd like to put a proxy between a workstation and the Parsec servers, you can. Parsec API calls can be configured to work with your existing web proxy. With your team connected, you may also want to manage how they sign on and ensure that their connections are legitimate. Parsec supports SSO, single sign-on, with the use of SAML-based authentication, this means that owners of a team can manually configure any SAML-enabled identity provider, such as Okta, Azure AD, Google SSO, and more, to handle signing in to Parsec. To do this, you simply have to register Parsec with your identity provider of choice. SAML setup settings and IDP information can be found in the Security and SAML tab of the Parsec for Teams admin panel. Once registered with your identity provider, you can then enter or upload your identity provider's metadata to register your IDPR with Parsec and complete the SAML setup. Once set up, you can choose to enforce SAML across your team, ensuring that your identity provider must be used in order for team members to log into Parsec. Keep in mind, though, that this will log out anyone currently connected to Parsec, so you'll need to make sure they're registered with your identity provider first. In addition to enabling single sign-on, team members can also enable multi-factor authentication on their own Parsec account. To do this, team members can head to their profile settings page and press the Enable 2FA button to set it up. As well as network and security customization, Parsec also has plenty of built-in features to customize the usability and security of the app for use with your team. Here's just a few that we think you might find useful. In the Global App Settings page in the Admin panel, you can choose to toggle certain consumer Parsec features on or off and gain additional control over how your team uses Parsec. If you want to turn off features typically used for playing games, such as the arcade menu and the friends panel, you can do so here. These changes impact every person on your team and go into effect immediately. Turning these features off can be a good way to enforce that your team members are only using Parsec for work purposes. You can also choose to watermark streams here. The text you type in to this field will be displayed as watermarked text in the bottom left corner of any workstation in your team. This feature can be a great way to make it clear who is authoring the stream and that the workstation belongs to your organization. Similarly, if you want to force the users within your network to stream using Parsec for Teams exclusively, you can enable the Use Team WebSocket option. This will block all traffic from non-Teams accounts on your network. 
If your network is shared by other people, this is useful as it enforces that only users logged in via a Parsec for Teams account can use Parsec within your network. If your team happens to be working on something sensitive, you can even choose to toggle copy and paste functionality between the host and client, reducing the chance of any of that vital information getting passed from machine to machine. If you're using team computers, you can also disable the logout functionality of Parsec on the host machine, stopping someone from absentmindedly disabling access to a shared workstation. Another awesome feature of Parsec for Teams is privacy mode. When enabled, Parsec uses virtual displays on the host machine it's connecting to and shuts off all of its physical monitors. This can be extremely useful if a member of your team is working on something remotely and doesn't want it being broadcast to any potential onlookers who happen to be in the vicinity of the host computer. For further control over connections in Parsec, you can assign different users in your organization into groups via the Team Management page. Groups enable you to define incoming and outgoing connections between group members and allow you to restrict which team members other team members can connect to and receive streams from. You can also define custom app settings for each group and override the global app settings on a group-by-group -group basis. This can be extremely useful if you're working with contractors or temporary team members and want to enforce tighter access restrictions on their connections to your organization. As you can tell, there's a plethora of ways you can set up Parsec to keep your organization secure. For more information on setting up Parsec for you and your team, follow the link below. Thanks for watching.